Hey guys, this is Giridhar here. In this video, I'm going to talk about not just the Xiaomi Mi 3 and also another device which is almost similar to Xiaomi Mi 3 in the price point. So, here it is the Moto G and the Xiaomi Mi 3. So in terms of weight, both these devices weigh around 145 grams each, uh, but uh, the Moto G is little bulkier. It is bulky at uh, 11 mm, while the Xiaomi Mi 3 is just uh, 8 mm thick. And both these devices has have Corning Gorilla glass protection, but uh, the uh, Moto G is really good device in terms of ergonomics because it's it's uh, the grip is very good in this device the matte finish at the back and also the size of this entire device which is uh, uh, less than 4.5 inches for the display which makes it very ergonomic and easy to hold in the hand on the other hand the Xiaomi Mi 3 has a 5 inch display and though it's just 8.1 mm thick it is a tall device and it makes it uh, really uncomfortable to hold in your hands both these devices support USB uh, on the go. You can plug in your uh, USB OTG cable and expand the memory. But uh, the uh, Moto G comes with a micro SIM and it's just not a single SIM. I think you can insert a uh, dual SIM in this. And while the Xiaomi Mi 3, though being a Chinese mobile, just supports a single SIM. And the SIM is um, a mini sim which which means it's a normal sim and you do not go and cut your sim or uh, go in and uh, get a replacement sim so uh, but in case of uh, the uh, Moto G it supports two sims and both these sims are micro sim and you have to go and cut your sim card into micro sim card format or you need to get a replacement there uh, in terms of connectivity uh, both these devices support uh, 3G connection uh, but uh, the Moto G uh, has a little more bands than your uh, Mi 3 here and uh, with, uh, with respect to uh, internal connectivity it's got both these devices have got GPRS, Edge and uh, Wi-Fi and they also have Bluetooth connectivity so while the uh, Moto G has Bluetooth low energy connectivity the Mi 3 doesn't have Bluetooth um, uh, low energy support uh, and both these devices uh, do have a to db for uh, your uh, streaming your music uh, through bluetooth and uh, while the Moto G doesn't have support for uh, near field communication which is the nfc the mi3 comes with uh, nfc um, out of the box and both these devices don't have wireless charging capability um, they don't have the infrared port as well but they have the usb version 2.0 in terms of camera, uh, the Mi3 uh, trumps Moto G. So, uh, it's got a 13 megapixel dual LED assisted uh, um, camera, which is really great and it shoots awesome HDR photos. And uh, while the Mi uh, Moto G's uh, camera is just a basic 5 megapixel camera and it's just got a single LED flash there. And even the front facing camera is not that great. While the front facing camera in uh, Mi3 is, uh, though it's just 2 megapixel, it does a really good job. Uh, the front facing camera in the Moto G is 1.3 In terms of processing power, again, uh, Mi3 has an upper hand here. It's got the Snapdragon 800 processor um, running on a crate architecture and it's clocked at around 2.3 gigahertz. While the Moto G has the Snapdragon uh, 400 and it's uh, quad core, though it's a quad core device, it's clocked at just 1.2 gigahertz and uh, Moto G has got a graphic processing unit but it's a old Adreno 305 but the Mi3 has got a great graphic processing unit which is the uh, Adreno 330 and uh, interestingly it shares all of its specification with uh, the top end devices like the HTC One M8 and Samsung Galaxy X S5 um, overall the performance of the Xiaomi Mi3 is far far better than the uh, Moto G. The Moto G runs on Android 4.4.4 currently and uh, it's got a, a purely non-skinned uh, version experience of using an Android but while uh, 
the MIUI here is highly forked so it's completely customized it doesn't follow any design language from the house of Android it's got its own thoughts it's got its, got its own design language everything is completely different from what you have already experienced in an Android device but still uh, at the base it runs on 4.4.2 uh, the MIUI latest version which is uh, MIUI v5 that's running on this device so it runs uh, it is updated to 4.4.2 so we are expecting a next update which is the MIUI uh, version 6 and it might have some new features uh, and it could also run on the, um, the Android L. We are not sure for time being but um, with respect to UI, um, you get a regular normal user experience of using an um, Android device with, with the Moto G but uh, with um, MI, uh, Xiaomi Mi3 you get a lot of features, a lot of new features that you would never experience on any unrooted devices. Plus, there are a lot of uh, new features which are almost uh, difficult to find. Uh, you can check out the video where I speak about all the uh, UI features of uh, the MIUI in uh, Xiaomi's Mi3 there. So, um, if you compare head to head, I would recommend buying uh, Xiaomi Mi3 rather than compare to uh, yeah, compared to this uh, Moto G here, so though Moto G has got a very good support internationally in the developer community and I would say um, the sheer performance and uh, the uh, better user experience which, which MIUI gives you here along with uh, uh, high, uh, high end uh, graphic uh, hardware and, uh, and the design aesthetics, uh, Xiaomi Mi3 is far far ahead uh, than the um, uh, Moto G even though they are priced almost equal so this one costs around 13,000 and this one costs around 14,000 so for a thousand rupees more you get a, a device which performs uh, almost like a 45,000 rupees uh, priced device so thanks for watching the video if you like my video hit the like button and if you want to stay updated for more of my videos Hit the subscribe, stay tuned, thanks signing off, Giridhar.